I'm here to read you a story today called The Sandcastle Contest by Robert Munch, illustrated by Michael Marchenko. The Sandcastle Contest. Matthew's father stood in the driveway and said, I think we are all ready to go. Let's make sure everything is here. Do we have the bicycles? Yes. Do we have the food? Yes. Do we have the boat? Yes. Do we have everything? No, yelled Matthew. No, said his dad. No, said Matthew. We don't have a dog. Dog, said his dad. We don't even own a dog. I know, said Matthew. Now would be a good time to get a, a dog. No dog, said dad. Now do we have everything? No, yelled Matthew. We don't have a sandbox. Matthew said his mom, we can't bring the sandbox, but the first place we camp will have a nice beach and you will have lots of sand to play with. Well, said Matthew, okay. So they drove and drove and drove and drove and drove until they came to a place to camp. Matthew jumped out of the van and ran to the beach. He came to a girl making a sandcastle and a big sand dog. She said, hi, my name is Kalita and I'm going to win the sandcastle contest. Wow, said Matthew, I'm going to build a sandcastle too. What can I win? You can win a bathtub full of ice cream, said Kalita. All right, said Matthew. Would you join the sandcastle contest? So Matthew made a house with doors and windows and a roof. He dug out the inside of the house so it had rooms, just like a real house. He made sand tables and chairs and beds and a TV that had sand on it. Wow, he's getting very creative, isn't he? When Matthew was almost done, Kalita came over to look at his house. She had her sand dog on a leash. Nice sand house, said Kalita. Really, really nice sand dog, said Matthew. Wow, he has a thing for dogs, doesn't he? A judge came by and said, get this house out of here. Who put this house on the beach? This is my sand house, said Matthew. I made it for the sand castle contest. Ha, said the judge. I know a real house when I see one, and there are no real houses allowed on the beach. Then he went inside and sat in a sand chair and watched a sand show on TV. Another judge came by and said, Get this house out of here. Who put this house on the beach? This is my sand house, said Matthew. I made it for the sand contest. Ha, said the judge. I know a real house when I see one, and there are no real houses allowed on the beach. She went into the bedroom and looked at the sand bed. She went into the kitchen, opened the refrigerator, and looked at the sand apples, and the sand celery, and the sand carton of milk. Then she said, little boy, you've got this house off the beach. Get it off. This is my sand house, said Matthew, and I'm going to prove it, ha, said the judges. So Matthew went outside and kicked the sand house right beside the door. It all turned back into an enormous pile of sand and fell on the judges. Help! yelled the judges and everyone came running to dig them out. It really was a sand house. When the judges were finally out from under the sand, they yelled, Matthew wins! His sand house was so good, we thought it was a real house! Matthew wins, everyone yelled, and they gave him a bathtub full of ice cream. Matthew started eating the ice cream, and he said to Kalita, Want to help me eat this? Yes, said Kalita. While they were eating the ice cream, Matthew said, How come you didn't tell everybody that your dog is sand? You would have definitely won the sand dog contest. Well, said Kalita, this is Sandy, my sand dog and I'm going to take him camping and feed him ice cream every day, and he is going to be my pet, and I am never going to turn back to sand. Wow, said Matthew. I wish I thought of that. Can you show me how to make one? No problem, said Kalita. And Matthew's mom and dad were so happy. 
with Matthew's amazing sand dog that they decided to take it camping. The end. Have you ever built a sand castle on the beach? It's a lot of fun, except sometimes if the waves hit it, it all goes away. I hope you like that story. See you later.